Good morning. I just want to feature uh, my solar panel setup, solar power system, and featuring how this organized this. Haha. <laughs> there, as you can see, we have uh, assorted uh, charge controllers. That one there, the yellow one, is one solar. The next one, the color orange, is the OMR. And we have an ordinary one, that uh, blue one. This is the cheapest one. There's one there uh, downside also. And that other orange one is the Mosca. It's not working well. But I'm using it on a 100 watt panel, uh, charging the this uh, supposedly discarded batteries already. So yeah, it's still usable. And you can see here on, the, uh, on my left side this Nadi inverter to one. Uh, this is 1,000 watts. 12 volts this one in the center is 24 volt this one here this one is 24 volt oh, yeah the, 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 the speed batteries are the one with the 24 volt this one and these two batteries here are for the 12 volt system all right and I have 1,500 watt panels all in all four pieces of 200 watts and five pieces of 100 watts panels and judging our needs here in oh, we are off grid totally off grid so our usage is I think fair enough and judging our consumption it's uh, yeah good enough for us but uh, I'm still planning to upgrade I'm still planning to add more solar panels and I'm planning on I'm working on it we're working on it already actually uh, we are trying to assemble a battery that is uh, the 18650 lithium ion. It's all on the process. So anyway, this is our personal panel power system. I just want it uh, recorded here. And uh, you can also see this uh, you know circuit breakers just making sure that uh, they're all safe it can be easily switched off and on yeah. all here and this one is uh, I'm not using it this is the automatic transfer switch but uh, we don't have a DUC DU here we don't have a distribution utility so it's you don't need it. Okay. All right. I'm going here. This is how the return of investment will be. You know, I think it, there will be an easy return of investment as uh, most of the people here are charging the their cell phones here and sometimes battery 12 volt battery is being charged here and power banks so I think we can easily manage to recover the cost dispenses and uh, that's it I won't go further out to, to 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 check and uh, feature the solar panels, but uh, 
I think this is quite good enough to say that uh, going off grid is well it's hard at first but you know it's manageable really in fact we're enjoying it here so, yeah. we're really happy with our setup here you know I use you see I have a lot of tools here and I have uh, a chainsaw too and imagine I have we, we have here a uh, an ice maker uh, we did use now as there's a problem with that we had a, uh, a mini refrigerator that's working well already mm-hmm see it's making ice and yeah during summer last summer we use we can even cook at the rice cooker it's here it's on a standby yes because you know it's raining the rain season here we can't use it by now but surely we can when you know come come summer we can use it again all right so yeah pretty good pretty good i also have a battery charger here also see it came from new zealand when i came from new zealand i brought this back here so i have something to charge 12 volt battery mm. this tool is mine i have also a so that one to two hand reels and a jigsaw and the other power tools that I have and this is my favorite now the mm, sorry for the mess really and this one the chainsaw the convertible chainsaw I use it on the this grinder it's converted to a chainsaw it's really useful now oh, and I still have I can even you know test it yet a planer so I got a lot of tools it's really important that uh, we have this solar panel system here um, you see we have a laptop and we have this 55 inch TV and a computer and two big speakers and that component also downside and another one I of course can use it uh, same old talent of course we commonly use this now mm. and the computer and that, that big TV and this other mm, speaker there so it's really fine knowing that you're here uh, go, um, <clears throat> uh, living off grid but uh, enjoying a life that really want to have you know that's our uh, that's my you know <laughs> that's simply Erna my missus my other half all right yeah here okay so that's all I want to feature now and uh, taking this video for you know a souvenir and putting on YouTube so I can manage to review it every now and then okay so this is it well, maybe I can uh, manage to have a little look at my solar panels if I can. All right, hold on. Okay, my solar panels. It's not really visible, it's not really clear. And we are some sort of cooking via firewood. So you can see the smoke. It's really disorganized, but uh, 
I, uh, I'm only too proud to say that I have these solar panels here. A total of uh, 1,500 watts. And the, the, those big ones there, I don't know if I can see, I can see it on the camera and the video. But those are the big ones, that the, the 200 watt solar panels of four pieces in all. And uh, two here and the other one, uh, two pieces on the other side. And the, and the five pieces of 100 watts. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just to complete the video, so I included the solar panels. Alright, that's it. Thanks a lot.